Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be creating two spreads for two of my patrons, Cindy and Asa. They are on the top tier, so they get spreads mailed to them every month. I'm going to do something really different with Cindy's spread. So if you want to see what I do, keep watching. So obviously the first spread I'm doing is going to be something to do with winter, which is kind of fun because, you know, it's not really winter yet. So I'm excited to do this. So my first spread is for Cindy. She wants a big happy planner spread for the last week in November, first week in December. And she wants it to be a like skiing mountain sport kind of spread. And I'm going to draw like... I'm getting all creative up in here. So let's get started. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm a little nervous about it, actually, because I have some ideas, obviously. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to mention before I start is that so on this highest tier of Patreon, they do get a custom spread and I do like to have fun with these sometimes and get a little bit creative. They're not all gonna be creative every month. I'm gonna try to like alternate, you know, who I give the really creative spreads to because I can't do super creative. And when I say creative, they're all creative. But when I mean, what I mean by that is like drawing, doodling, like, um, like working extra specially hard on it. I always work hard on them, but these ones take a really long time. So they're something that they might get once in a while, you know, as a little treat. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a treat. This might be a complete fail, but we're going to try it out. So Cindy says she goes to Salt Lake City for skiing, um, or she used to every year with her family. And that is why she wanted this winter spread. So I thought I'd make it really fun for her and draw... I know this is like weird, but I have a ski lift I'm drawing. I'm in the process of drawing this here. <laughs> and I thought I would try putting these girls on the ski lift. I don't really know. I tried to like cut this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I did some sticker surgery here and I tried to cut it to make it look like she was sitting on the ski lift and it didn't work. So I might just have them hanging there. I may start doing this and realize that this was a giant mistake and just scrap this whole video. I don't know. But I'm going to start off by just fast forwarding this and tracing what I have already and just kind of assessing the situation. Well, I'm committed now. <laughs> um, don't worry, we're going to make this functional, I think. Um, one thing I want to mention is I am a doodler, not an artist. So I know these don't really look like what they're supposed to look like. But I think that, that we're going to know what they are, right? <laughs> like... I would have to draw them in like perspective with the legs hanging off and everything, but the, the girls are not in perspective and they are not going to have their legs hanging off the right way because I can't figure out how to do it. We are just going to go ahead and put them on. Although maybe I should erase those lines first before we do that. Also, I'm going to cut off her ski poles. She doesn't need them up there at all. Okay, so we're going to put the girls on in a little bit. So first off, I know there's a lot of lines on this page. I considered covering all of this and making like a whole scene, but I don't know. I just decided against it. And I thought maybe I would get rid of the lines in the mountains. Um, I still might. We're going to see how it goes. But I think it's going to be like really noticeable if I white out. So that that was the problem that I had. 
that's a lot of lines here well like i said we're committed so cindy you're gonna either love it or hate it but just know that my heart went into this and i really tried <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say so i i feel like snow needs to be light blue i'm not loving the line the peach lines now that i'm looking at them of course i've already like drawn this over it i think we need to white out the lines in the mountains and i could use like i'm sorry guys i'm just like thinking as i go i could use like a jelly roll why don't we try that first and see how that works like that camouflages them it doesn't take them away you know what i do have wait so i have this and i meant to use this before um i bought it and i used it like a, once but what if i use this to cover the lines actually that's a, not a bad idea this is like art tape all right that'll work that'll work so this is art tape um i got this on amazon i will link it for you it's just like it's an alternative to white out and washi it looks like white out because it's white but it's like white washi but it's like um sort of stretchy it's like vinyl ish which i am not you know a total fan of i'm gonna try to erase this line that actually does not look bad and i think it's gonna look better than white out and we'll put some boxes on top of that so it won't be such a big deal now i'm wondering if i should do that for the rest of the spread Let's see what it would look like. I can always pull it off. Of course, it's, I drew right on this line. Uh, of course I did. Okay, I tried to erase the lines early and these work down here, but look what I did. I made a mess, so I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I also wrinkled the page down at the bottom, but oh well first off the squad girl sticker book i want to put some skiers over here there's the big skiers i'm going to use on the ski lift but then there's like little skiers too and a snowboarder so i'm going to put them over some of these lines just to sort of um you know just camouflage those white areas all we have is two because i'm like out of everything I don't know what else we're going to do here. I don't know. But we're going to figure it out. Don't worry. This is a very um, adventurous spread. And it's got me on edge. <laughs> it's got me a little on edge. I'm going to take some of these trees and put them on the mountain. But this is not a drawing this is a planner so we need to put some functional stuff in here after i sticker it up over here on the mountain we're gonna need some functional stuff so let me just put a couple more trees here so in the winter sticker book i saw some cute stuff let us check it out i definitely want to go with like a light blue white theme um oh this is really cute that's really cute it's got snow on it Ooh. let's do that at the top of the page to cover up that peach mike is going to be here any minute and then i am going to have to stop recording because i think i'm annoying him with how much of a workaholic i am <laughs> He says I'm not, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel a little like I am. Okay, I did see this Today sticker in the Mega Seasonal Pack, and I thought it was just so cute with the snowflakes. I know that it's too long for the sidebar, but I wanted to put a box here so we can cut this down, I think. First, I'm gonna cut this part off because I don't want it to say Today because it's a sidebar sticker. So cut this guy off. Put him down here now let's measure how much we need i want it to kind of end like right there so let me see i think i'm just gonna put it down 
And this is where I will write a note to Cindy because I like to write the patron's notes. So I'll put that there. And let's see. So I'm going to put this, I guess, over there. This is tricky, you guys. It feels like it's tricky. I'm not sure why. I just, I'm going to take this one though, because it matches that. So we're going to put this like somewhere else in the spread. I guess I'll put it down here on Wednesday. I have no reasoning behind that, just that it seems to fit there. I do really like this Tis the Season for freezing and it matches that. So I feel like I need to bring like that color in. So I'm going to put this somewhere. I kind of like it here. Oh wait, I forgot to do the line. Oops. That's cute. Okay, off camera, I managed to erase those pencil lines. So I'm gonna go in and add these girls and I don't know how I feel about this or how it's gonna look. It's frightens me slightly, but, and I know that like she's there too. You know, it's her twin, what can I say? All right, I'm going to cut these ski poles off because I don't think she needs them when she's up there. At least, like, she doesn't need to hold on to them, right? It's a little weird. We don't want her skiing in midair. Like I said, I sort of want, like, <laughs> to cut it and put her legs in a certain way, but I don't think it's really going to work. I tried it, and it looked weird. I'm gonna take a deep breath and just like put her on here and see how it looks. I don't love it, but it could be worse, I think. This girl's mangled because I already did sticker surgery on her. She's a mess. She also has like fingerprints all over her. I was really working hard on this girl um, before I started filming. I wish I had two of these sticker books, but I don't. So she's going to go here and I forget how her legs went. I'm just going to put her down like this. I need my tweezers. That was a very, very small piece. Look how little that is. This is what sticker surgery is all about, people. Her skis go right on that line, but I think that's okay. All right. Like I said, it's not perfect, but like it's obvious now what it is, right? <laughs> I know she's like falling off. <laughs> it's a little weird, but let's just work with it and let's put more boxes down and then maybe it won't bother me as much. How about this one? Because this is going to match this. We'll put it over here on Monday, I guess. Okay. I really like this a lot. I feel like I want to layer this with, and I almost want to put this on top of this one, but I guess not. I want to, oh, that's so pretty. Look at it. It's got like silver foiling in it. It's so cute. I'm going to layer it maybe with this one. Put this over here on Tuesday. I'll just layer it here. I think that's really cute. I really like this light blue theme. It makes me want to use these for myself. And why don't I have two of these books? Why, 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 why? I didn't realize this last year's. Yeah, I didn't realize how cute this was. I didn't use it that much last year, I guess. How cute, look at these little sparkly snowflakes. Oh my goodness. I don't know about that though. I do feel like I want to throw some of these in. Probably not the big giant ones though, but maybe some of the little ones. Um, I might add some more, but let's keep going with this. So the mountains look a little weird, but it's very light blue. Now we have this peach. I'm definitely going to cover that up, but like I feel like I need some other colors in here because I'm going to run out of light blue. Also, I don't want to give her all my light blue because I may want to use some light blue. Oh, so, so tricky. 
I can bring lines in, but I just feel like it's going to be really busy if I do that. So I'm not going to do that. Just putting a couple little accents in there. Okay. Well, this. A lot of blue right there though, right? Right here. What about this tree? This tree is kind of cute. It's a little cluster there, right? So we're gonna need a little cluster on this side as well. I hope this is not too boring, but I'm thinking really hard. Like I'm, the wheels are turning right now. Let me look in the seasonal book. We need some other boxes or to-do lists or something. I mean, overall, this does need to be functional and we need, so we need more like stuff like that in here. I don't know what Cindy's got going on, you know? I'll put it here. And then I'll take another one of those same color ones because I have two pages of that. And I'm going to put it over here on the other side. I'll put it like on the edge over here. I obviously need a long box there. So, where can I find that? Oh, Mike just got here. I may have to leave. Bring on the sweaters. Put that down here. This is the Homebody Season sticker book. All right, I'm gonna stop here and I will come back tomorrow morning and finish this up. And it'll be good because I will look at it with a fresh set of eyes and we'll see what it needs. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, so it's the next day and <laughs> I took a look at this and I'm, I'm really not happy with it. Not because I don't think it's cute, but because there's so many lines involved here and it's just too much. It's hurting my head. I think it would be really confusing to plan in. So what I'm going to do though, I'm not scrapping the idea altogether. I'm going to take some paper and this is just a piece of plain like big happy planner paper and I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to cover this section but I'm going to take all these stickers off first I know I know I just can't like I don't feel comfortable giving this to um to Cindy like this I just don't feel like it's nice enough and I don't want to give something that I'm not proud of so I'm going to do the same theme but I'm not going to have these vertical lines and I'm also going to make these lines thinner so that it's not as much in your face. So I'm hoping that once I take these stickers off, they'll all still be okay. And um, so I'm going to speed this part up and I'm just going to dump a whole bunch of this undo on the page and just start over again. It's, you know, I know it's time consuming, but I need to do it. So um, yeah. You can watch this part in fast motion.
Okay. Um, <laughs> that was a lot of work. Uh, I do like it better. I think it's cleaner. I think it's still like so crazy, but I think it's, it's okay. And, um, I think Cindy will be able to separate the days out. You know what I mean? Like you can see that this is under Tuesday. This is under Monday. Um, I'm going to add a few lines in here just because now we have a little bit more of a cleaner look. So it's not going to bother me as much to put lines in before there was like a lot of vertical lines. I also, of course, have to come back in here and like clean this up, like erase the pencil lines and stuff. I messed up the mountains. Look at that up there. And this like went down too much. Um, I messed this up a little bit. I don't love it, but it's better than it was. So we're going to continue and just see what else I can do. Um, I'm going to use a Muji 0.38. That's what I used to draw up here. I do like it better now that it's thinner than it was before. It was a little overwhelming. I don't like that this over here is still thick, but I'm just going to leave it because I can't really do much about that unless I cover that up again. And there's already a piece of paper covering up like part of it up here. So <laughs> let's put some lines in and um, maybe some check boxes as well. And then like, I don't know, we'll just see. We'll see how it looks. Should I do check boxes? Is that too much? I don't know. I'll put lines in first and then reassess the situation. Um, it's hard sometimes when you're doing like super creative spreads because, well, first of all, it takes longer, but also you're just not sure what to do some of the time. So it's like a little confusing. I'm glad, I think I like it without the check boxes because it's just a little cleaner looking. I'm gonna put some right down here and then I'm gonna put like a box sticker up there. I'll find another box sticker somewhere. This is one of those spreads. It's just taking like a really long time, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. I want lines on this day or on here, but I don't quite know how to do it without moving those stickers. I could move this one up a little bit and put lines there. Maybe I should do that. Let me try that and just see. I know I'm putting more undo on the page. <laughs> you guys are probably screaming. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, lady? You crazy lady. <laughs> crazy lady on the internet. You're, you know, freaking me out with all your undo and like pulling up of all these stickers and, but. I like undo, you guys. It's like a miracle elixir. This has saved me on multiple occasions. I resisted it for like a year or a year and a half before I finally decided to just try it. And I was like, whoa, this is the best thing ever. I still don't use it a lot just because it's like time consuming and like, you know, pain. But I mean, it's better than ripping stickers, so. Okay, let's let this dry for a second. I have to find some more boxes that are similar to these. I am pretty much sticking to this light blue theme unless I can find something else that really coordinates. I could bring in like some turquoise since we have like these here and like these boxes down here. Maybe I can do that, but I honestly am out of most of them, so I'm not sure. All right, so this is dry. So let's move this up here just give myself a little bit more room for some boxes there. Oops. I mean, not boxes. Oh, lines, lines. So I'll put a few in here. Maybe like one, two, maybe like four. Like, I want this to be pretty, but I honestly want to make sure it's functional for her. I don't want her to not have enough room to put her plans, that's the last thing I want. So I wanna make sure. Okay, so I think that's enough lines because I really don't know where else I would fit them in unless like I brought some up here, which I don't, I already have some on Wednesday, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh wait, I could put some here actually. That might be a good idea. Let me put some here. It'll fill up that area and give her a place to write on Saturday. So that makes sense to me. It's looking better. <laughs> it's not a lost cause. 
Okay, so let's go back into that winter sticker book. I also still have some of these little snowflakes to put around. I'm gonna wait until the end for those. What if I brought in like this one? I mean, I could do that. And then like cut this one out maybe too, right? Okay, let's bring in some greens. I'll put something fun up top there. I know that there's like, that's really close, isn't it? Kinda wanna move this up a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you still watching? <laughs> oh good, it came up really easily because I used undo a couple times. I hope that it sticks to the page. I don't know if you're still watching, but I don't know also how I'm gonna put two spreads in this video because this is the first one. What am I gonna do, you guys? I don't know. Am I gonna have to do like a voiceover for the second one? I don't have all the answers, but maybe, I, maybe I'll just fast forward all this part and you won't even hear me talking. And now we're gonna have to move this, up, this one up slightly. This is a labor of love at its finest. Pumble's having problems outside. She's going crazy. All right, I need something here. Let's let's hurry this along so that this is not a two hour video because ain't nobody got time for that. Let's do this and cover up that line a little. Uh, there's like two boxes already on Friday. I don't, I don't, do not think I need a third box on Friday, but something's got to go there, right? Now that I brought some greens in, I can kind of work with that a little bit, I guess. Oh, remember I was looking at this frosty mornings and toasty blankets, but that's like too much. I feel like it's too dark. If that was like a square one, let's see if there's any square ones in here. Was there? There's not, but I could make a smaller one. Like what if I cut it down? Let's try it. Okay. Then this guy's gotta go like over here somewhere to match this. Maybe I cover the top of the mountain so that we don't see my mess up. No, I don't think I want to cover the top of the mountain. Let's just put it here. I'll fix that with like a white pen. We are almost done. Maybe we just fill up the rest with some big snowflakes. I feel like something else needs to be on Monday, of course. So these are the snowflakes I'm thinking about using like around the spread to fill in like those little gaps, but we don't want to fill in all of it because Cindy might need to write on some of it. So we're just going to do some. Okay, I kind of like it now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of digging it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to like it like at all. Cold hands, warm coffee. You guys, I think this is really cute. <laughs> I think it's really cute. It's, it's a little busy, but I think it's, let me see. Let me look at it with fresh eyes, like over here. I think it's really cute. I think she's gonna like it. It's unique, right? I've never seen anything like it, that's for sure. Um, and that's not always a bad thing. So I do need to cover up this part here because it doesn't match any of the spreads. So let's do that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how she's gonna feel about it. Of course, I'll erase those lines. It will look even better. If anything, She'll look at it and say, well, I've never seen that before. <laughs> All right. 
So let's get, I guess a December sticker. It's November to December, but let's get a December sticker because the first is on Monday. So I mean on Tuesday. So that makes sense. Okay, December. I almost want to put it on something light blue, but I'm tired and I don't have anything light blue, so I'm not going to do that. And that's okay. All right. Spread number one is finished. Whew. I will write Cindy a note here. I'll erase these lines and hopefully she'll love it. Okay. On to spread number two. Okay. So spread number three is for my patron, Asa. I might be saying that wrong. I probably am, but she is from Sweden and she needs an undated spread. Now, I thought I had undated classic. I don't, so not in a vertical anyway. So I thought I would change this one up. These are pages from July from the Wild Styled Planner. So I'm just gonna cover up the numbers and I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna take these, um, these little like notes in the journaling sticker book and I'm gonna cover each of these numbers. That way, well, I should wipe that out first actually. That way that Asa can um, come back when she wants and date it how she wants. So let's do that. Okay, so I actually covered up the month too and put that there because I don't know how long it's gonna to take to get to Sweden, so I don't know if she's even gonna get it in November, who knows? So that way she can write in the month or put a sticker in there herself. Okay, I'm, so Asa, all she told me was she loves florals. So we're gonna do some flowers here and some black. I don't know how she's gonna feel about this, but I think it's gonna, it's like pretty cool combo I don't know um so I'm also using I'm using these flowers from the live love posh sticker book I think they're beautiful I used them once in my mini so I'm going to use them for Asa even though I kind of want to keep them because they're so pretty but I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm going to be nice I'm going to put a little bit of washi throughout the spread I know this seems very overpowering so I don't know I don't know if it's going to be like too much or if it's going to turn out looking really cool, but it's always good to take a risk, you know, just take, take a, take a, a risk, do something different because, um, you know, it's only like your planner. Like it's not, it's not, I don't know, life or death. Just like have some fun. If you're like, hey, that might be cool, but I don't want to chance it, you know, just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, of course, I'm doing it for somebody else, which is, you know, much more risky than doing it for myself. But I'm just going to start by taking these, this flower right here and cutting it to meet this line of washi. These scissors are all gummed up. Where are my other ones? Let me get the smaller scissors. Okay. So... I'm just going to do this and put it right up to the washi tape and just see how it looks. I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, probably with like the same flower even on this side. Put this here, but then I'm going to put another one next to it I think not that maybe this one over here sorry you really can't see maybe this one
Should I take that across the all the way to the end or should I end it there? I don't know. Let's see what it looked like all the way to the end. Probably not great because I cut it there. So let's do this. So I think that's really pretty so far. Don't you think so? I think it's really pretty. I know the black is, isn't for everyone, but we might soften it up with a little bit of the white as well. Let's grab some white grid washi tape. And these I got at the washi tape shop. And I'll link that in the description. I really am into grid washi lately. I think it's so fun. And like classy, you know what I mean? I like the patterned washi that's not like too, too much. It's not too like crazy. Maybe we take this, I mean, we could layer it, sure, but I don't think I like it like that. Maybe I cut it smaller. All right, so something happened to the sound on this last part of the video. I don't know what's going on with my phone lately, but it is annoying. Um, so I decided to cut that down smaller, obviously. I think it looks better. And I thought I would use these circles from the journaling sticker book because they match the little um, squares at the top of the page. So that made sense to me. And then I decided just to layer some of these florals behind the circles and kind of make like little clusters. Um, I think it's a really cute look when you do that. Sometimes it's like tricky. I had a little bit of a problem here trying to like figure out the right way to put it because everywhere I put it, it looked kind of dumb. Um, but I thought I'd layer some you know, some of the leaves and some of the flowers with it. And, and that way, you know, Asa can emphasize whatever she's got going on in those couple of days and, and make it like really pretty right there. So I'm just adjusting and adjusting and adjusting. So <laughs> there I go adjusting again. <laughs> I'm so not used to doing voiceovers either. This is so hard for me. Um, so yeah, so I didn't think that was enough there. So I'm adding a little bit more, but I'm still undecided. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cracking myself up because this is so weird. Um, so the flowers are obviously like gorgeous. And whatever I do with them, they're going to be pretty. So check out Live Love Posh and her stickers because they're just so beautiful. All right, so I'm pretty satisfied with that now. And I want to go on to the rest of the spread. I decided to add some lines because that's what I do. And I thought it would look nice with the spread. Um, and I'm not taking them all the way across. I'm leaving a little bit of space on the sides because I just like that look better. Um, and in a classic, that happy planner checklist goes all the way across, but I don't know. I don't really love that look. So that's why I'm doing it this way. It's a little bit tricky to get it perfectly even, but I do my best. So now I'm just checking out the rest of the journaling sticker book, because obviously this is like a journaling and flowers, um, spread now. So um, but I decided that maybe I should add some black boxes in there. I'm looking for black boxes because, you know, I never have any anymore. So I put one of those monthly boxes there. I need to cover up that little notch with something. I thought black went really, really well because it's going to balance out the black of the washi tape because it's so dark. I'm going back into the flower sticker book, but no. I didn't. <laughs> now I'm going to the journaling sticker book. You guys, I'm doing this voiceover like three weeks after I filmed this video. So I'm just trying to wing it here. So I decided to put those little journaling hexagons on because it, it made sense. And I'm almost finished, but I want to put something in the sidebar. So I'm just looking. There's I want to put something so that I can sign it for Asa. And I decided on this long box sticker. And yes, Asa, I gave you one of my long black box sticker, those stickers. Those are very hard to come by. <laughs> so, um, 
I decided, I guess, that that's going to be her list of important things for the week. And then I want a little space for me to sign it for her. So that's why I'm putting this sticker down there. And um, I think I need a little something up there in the corner on Sunday. So I'm just going to put another hexagon there. I think that finishes off the look. And I love how it turned out. And I hope you do too, Asa. Um, that's about all for me. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.